Hello, this is Gary Oates. Here is a quick overview for the Virtue theme for WordPress. This is the free version. And be honest, this is my favorite theme along with the Pinnacle theme. So there is a top menu bar. There is a logo area and we have a primary menu, a header. And below the header, there is a slider. There are a number of slides here. Not set up very well, but, it's, but there are the slides. Underneath the slides are actually three header widgets. They can be anything that you like. And then we've got the content of the main page. The images have a light box effect. That's not a particularly very good image. So we've got images and text. It's, it's, it's wide as well, set for wide. And towards the bottom of the page is a video. And this seems to play okay. Now at the bottom of the page of the home page are a couple of post excerpts. In the footer area, there are four footer widgets, including the social media, a place to put the copyright information, and a footer menu bar. So if we go to a page, for example, say the resources page, I have included here a right-hand sidebar, as you can see, along with a page content, a couple of images in this particular case. The blog, here is the blog here. We've got a couple of posts. They have the image and an excerpt. And if we click the image or the title of the the post, it'll take you to the full post. And again, I've used the right-hand sidebar for both the blog and the post pages altogether. So that is a quick overview of how it might look. Let's look behind the scenes and go to the dashboard now. So select appearance and customize. And we go behind the scenes to customize this theme. And on the right-hand side, we have the a sort of window showing any changes that we make. So the first one is the actual main settings. And there are some areas here that you can alter. This is quite a lot actually to, to tailor this theme. That's why I like this theme. Top bath settings, whether you want them on and off. And again, more of a selection process here. The home slider. Now it advises here that you install the virtual tool kit plugin which I suggest you do and we'll come on to this a bit later. You've got the layout, the home page layout. Shop settings. This is useful if you've installed the WooCommerce plugin which again this will accept which is really useful. Some basic styling. It's pretty basic. You've got some colors to play with here. And then we have the advanced styling. As you can see, there's quite a bit to just here on the advanced styling. This is one of the reasons why I like this theme, because there's a lot of customization you can actually do. For a free version, that's pretty good. Typography. Again, it suggests that you add in the, the, the toolkit plugin, which we'll come back to. The menu structure or menu settings. Again, it suggests add in the toolkit. The page post settings a number of customizations you can do here. Miscellaneous settings, a couple of items here you can uh, to adjust. Advanced settings, this is your customization for CSS. You can put your code in there accordingly. Site identity, menus go to menu locations there are actually five menus primary the secondary we've got one for mobile the top bar and footer right widgets there are four footer widget areas as shown here and you can tailor these as you would like so you can just go into one of those and add the various widgets for each of the footers and the static front page, which is fairly standard for a WordPress theme. Now, if we come out of this and we now go to theme options, this is what now becomes available once you upload the toolkit plugin. And now you can see a lot more. Now, many of these are repeat of the customization menu, as is the main settings. These were covered in the customization settings, the top bar menus or settings. 
Home slider, now this is advanced, so this is where you actually add the sliders to your theme. And you can add text and links accordingly. So this is where you can add your sliders, you can adjust the, how you like them to appear, the duration they appear. The home layout, again this is more advanced. You can actually tailor the way you want your home page to look and you can add various blocks of items here. So you've got the it's sort of header menu, the title, the content, and at the bottom the, the latest posts. So that's the way and you can change that accordingly. So this is a good way to tailor your home page for your theme. Quite a few settings here, actually very useful. Shop settings, again, is, is for the WooCommerce plugin. Basic styling. So we have some, some sort of basic functionality and colors there. So advanced styling, there's a lot to adjust here. As I scroll down, you can see. So this is really useful, again, to tailor this theme to your liking, to your desire. Typography. Here you can look at your colors for your headings and your fonts not just the colors but the size as well so this is really useful to help customize your theme you've got menu settings you've got the post page settings miscellaneous settings again these are very similar to what we covered before not much difference here The advanced settings, again, is a CCS, CSS customization. And at the bottom, we have the opportunity to import export. So you can actually save your theme layout and you can import it such if, at any time you lose it. Let's now look at a pro version of the theme. $45. Clearly a lot more functionality with this. But I think the free version is pretty good as it is. And you can do a lot with it. But again, it's up to you if you wish to purchase the pro version. And again, if you go to the page, you can understand a bit more about what you actually get for your money. This is my favorite theme. This is the theme I've used for ideasworkfromhome.com. Hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully you found it useful. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.